Second, according for man wants to die. And after this, the judgment. Romans 5, 12, we're poor. I buy one man sin in the world. I death by sin. So death passed upon all men. For all have sinned. Amen, Chad. We're all sinners. By nature, by choice, and by birth, praise God. And I sinned against God. And I deserve hell. Me and you all burn in a tall wall. But thank God for Jesus. Hallelujah. Romans 6.23 The wages of sin is dead but to give to God His eternal life yes, through Jesus amen. Christ our Lord. Hell's wide open. Say man right there. Sure. You keep going the way you're going. Well it's hell brother Donnie. It's beneath us. Hey man it's a burden. It's a bouncing up. That's hell feels up. Ladies and gentlemen even the scientists proved that the sin of the earth's on fire. And people don't believe it. Honey, there's a hell beneath you. And if you die without Jesus Christ, you'll spend eternity in that hell. Thank God, I'm on my help me keep, out of, keep me out of hell. But it took the blood of the Son of God. Hey, man, somebody holler, amen. Hell, hell's where they're weeping and eyes and tears. It's outer darkness. If your hands feed you, if your foot feed you, if your eyes attend you, I get rid of it. Mark 9. Hell's where the worm dies not, and the fire is not quenched. It's everlasting, eternal fire. Amen. Oh, I'm glad, thank God, I ain't going to hell. Where is it? It's beneath us. Who's going there? Rich people go there. But I say he's pleasure seeking people go by. Say, man, I never seen the day of pleasure. Thanks for seeking God for pleasure. Ain't nothing wrong with a houseboat. Ain't nothing wrong with a fishing boat. Ain't nothing wrong with a shotgun or a golf club. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But when it takes you out of will, will of God, amen, there's something bad wrong with it. Somebody holler, amen. Rich people howl and weep. They want more money in James chapter 5. And when they get more money, they want more money. More money and more money. I'd rather have Jesus than silver and gold. I'd rather have Jesus than riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus than all this. Now to you to God, amen. Who's going there? Rich people's going there. In Luke chapter 16, verse 22. Amen. Now when the wife... When the beggar died, the angels carried him into the Abraham's bosom. And the rich man also died and was buried. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, cried out to Father Abraham, Have mercy. Oh God, have mercy. Honey, I'm telling you, pleasure seeking people go to hell. Look who goes to hell, the palm. The multitudes. What Jesus say about it? Hey, I think he's a good preacher, don't you? Amen. Hey, man, Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. He said, Enter in at the straight gate. How provide is the gate? And brought us away that leads to destruction. And many go in there. And because straight is the gate and there is the way. How that leads to life. If you be there that find it. I'm glad in I'm with you. I'm glad I'm in that whosoever. I'm glad my name's written in the Lamb Book of Life. I'm glad he's pinned down when the rose called up yonder. I'll be there. Amen. But have you ever seen the pleasure sick of bunch? I mean, Hebrews 11 25 said their pleasure in sin for how long? For a season. It just lasts a little while. 2 Timothy 3. Matthew, when you're young, serve God. Remember your Creator. Yeah. Emily, remember the Creator in the days of thy youth. Make your call, make sure. Make sure you're born again. Yeah. And never go to draw walls of hell. Yeah. I'm here to tell you who's going pleasure seeking people. Sure. 2 Timothy 3, verse number 3 said, They're lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Amen. Yeah. had everything. I mean, you just get a hold of this old flesh in this world. I mean, you'll want everything. 
But if you've got Jesus, you've got all you need. Somebody holler, amen. amen. But look here, this, this one keep them people. Go to hell. Look at verse 15. And the mean man shall be brought down. And the mighty shall be humbled. And the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. Have you ever seen such an unbelieving, proud society? Oh, amen. Revelation 21 8. Who's in hell but fearful? The unbelieving. What does it take to go to heaven? You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. I, John 3 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. I'm glad much more being justified by His blood. I'm saved from wrath through Him. Hallelujah. I'll never go to hell. Hell's as large as itself. It's beneath us. Where is it? Who's going there? The rich, the pleasure seeking, the proud's going there. Amen. Pride keep you from going to Jesus this morning. Amen. Membership, what a baptism. Amen. I don't care how many times you've been dunked in the water. I don't care how many churches you've joined, you joined up to. You must be born again. You've got to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You remember J.L. and you got out of hell. Hallelujah to God. And God in Christ. I'm here to tell you, honey, He is the only way out of hell. It's Jesus Christ. Somebody holler Amen. I mean, the wrath of God the wrath of God abides under all unrighteousness. I'm here to tell you, God don't mess around. I tell you, only through the blood of His Son Amen. can you escape hell. We all deserve hell. Young yeah. deserve hell. Old deserve hell. Yeah. We all deserve to burn. But thank God, hallelujah, God made a word out of Him. Hey man, you got to humble yourself. Matthew 18, 4, Jesus said... If you'll humble yourself as this little child and be converted, you've got to be like a little child. Honey, you've got to get down here and humble yourself. Pride's got full. Pride go before destruction. Holy Spirit before fall. Proverbs 6, verse number 6. Yea, the Lord hates six times. Seven is abomination. And number one is a proud look. A proud look. We're in a selfish society. And I'm here to tell somebody, hell's enlarged itself. Good God Almighty, humble yourself before the mighty hand of God. Amen. Humble. God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Amen. Who's going to hell? Them that's unbelieving. Them that's ungodly. Yes. Psalm 9, 17, The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all nations that forget God. 2 Thessalonians chapter number 5, Chapter number 1, verse number 8, verse 7, plain and tight, taking vengeance on them that know not God, and obey not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, shall be punished with an everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and the glory of His power. I'm here to tell you, friend, hell's real. Amen. It's opened its mouth wide. You keep living for the devil and the flesh in the world, till God go to hell. Oh, I don't want you to. Amen. I don't want you to. You've got to humble yourself. You remember when you humbled yourself? Mama couldn't get me down. Daddy couldn't get me down. My wife couldn't change me. But one day, the Holy Ghost, son, in that about midway to that little old country church, I'll never forget the day when God, the Holy Ghost, got a hold of my heart. I mean, He drew me with the great anointed power. I tell you, Jesus said in, in John 12, 32, He said, If I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men. I'm telling you, no man can come to me, Jesus said, except the Father which sent me, draw him, John 6, 44. One day the Holy Ghost, I, He was waiting on me at Druid Hill Baptist Church. I, I come in that building, honey. I was totally depraved. I was headed for hell. I never shall forget the blessed day when the Holy Ghost drew me with great power. And I got up 
out of my sin and got holy before Almighty God. Hell has enlarged itself for who would deny the blessed Lord Jesus. Say amen, my God. Amen. How many remembers when you got born again? Amen. I'm telling you, it's just not joining the church. I'm preaching so much going to hell this morning. You remember when that fire scene, that pumpkin went down there? They went down to the church in Luke 18. That old fire scene, it's one of pride, religion. Uh, look at me, I give my tithes. I go to church every Sunday. Look at me, I'm proud. Fire scene, that old pumpkin, verse 13. He smote his breast. He couldn't even look up. He said, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Woo! And the Bible says he went down to his house justified. And God said to him to humble himself, shall be exalted. Honey, God lifted me up out of the mighty Amen. pit. Put my foot on the rock. I established my going. Put a new song in my heart. Even praise to our God. Amen. Praise to Amen. 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 Who's going now? The rich and the proud. Amen. The good people's going to hell. Good people's going to hell. You can be as good as you want to. Get in two shoes. You can go up and ain't going to get you a dime worth anything. But I want you to know this verse 16. I'll be done. I'll be done this morning. The way out of hell. I want to give you the way out. I showed you the way. Hell's beneath us where it is. Who's going there? I want to give you the way out. I'm mean, glad there's a way out. Somebody holler at me. There's a way out. Glory to God. Look what he said in verse 16. I mean, glad the Lord buddy me here. I love that conjunction word. Whether it means what you think it means or not, makes no difference. But one day, I was going that way, and God let it in, and I repented of my sin, and I turned, hallelujah, and I went towards God. Notice number one. Hey, he's the way out because he's the Lord of hosts. That may please he's Savior. That may please he took a Savior to get us out of hell. Hallelujah to his name. I bless his name that a Savior came so far away and descended, came down and died on the cross. Somebody holler at me. Amen. When, in Genesis 18, when God saw the sin of Sodom, he saw and he cried out. And Abraham said, Oh God, shall the judge of all the world do right? Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? God does right. Say amen, my God. And Abraham, if they stiffed thee, would you spare the city? Oh yeah. Was they 40? God spare the city? God on down to 30? Yeah. God spare the city? How about 10? And Abraham walked away. God walked away. Hey man, there's only one in Sodom that was right with God, but God spared the city. From, he didn't spare the city, did he? He burned it with tall walls and brimstone. I'm here to tell you, God is a long suffering Savior. I'm glad He waited on me. 2 Peter 3 9. The Lord's not slack. I concerned His promise. As some men count slackness, but long suffering. I told us, I'm not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. Woo! I'm glad he stretched out his hands in Romans 10 21. All day long, he stretched out his hands to the rebellious and against saved people. He don't want you to go to hell. God's not pleased with the death of the wicked. God wants you to get saved this morning. Oh, I'm preaching to somebody that's going to hell this morning. Don't die in your sins. There's a way out. He's called the Savior of the world. I'm mean, I mean, glad He went to an old rugged cross. I mean, I'm He's glad He paid it all. Somebody holler, Amen. He paid it all, Brother Larry. Amen. God shall be exalted. When was He exalted in His judgment? 2,000 years ago on an old rugged cross how God judged the sins of the world and He put my sin and He put your sin on His darling Son and He died the death of all dead. He said it is finished. Amen. Woo! I'm glad He took my judgment. What a Savior. What a Lord. First Peter 2.24 who is on sin. By our sins in 
his own body on the tree that we be made to sin. I should live under rods by the stripes with him. And that Isaiah 53 4, surely it borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. How he is stinging, stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And with his stripes were healed. And he's glad for an old Roman cross that our Savior died on. What a Savior. What a Savior. The way out of hell is through the Lord of hosts. He's the Savior of the world. One glad will learn. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's one to be saved this morning. Hell's enlarged itself. But there's a way out of hell. We used to play that Monopoly game. You get a jail. Get out a jail free card. I ain't played that in a long time. But the game of life, friend. If you keep going the way you're going, you don't have to do nothing. Go to hell. But thank God they say, get out a hell free card. It don't cost you nothing, praise God. God put it into my life. When he put in, Brother Donnie, in Ephesians 2 4, but God, who is rich in mercy, where in his great love, where in he loved us. Romans 5 verse 8, but God commended his love towards us in the while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. Verse 13, Ephesians 2 said, but now, you who are sometimes a off are made now. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Somebody holler hallelujah. Hell's the Lord is My sister passed away and I'll be done with it. My sister passed away three years ago. And when she went home to meet the Lord, she saved. Me and Carolyn. Stood over a bill, over a bed, Brother Bill. And my sister took her last breath. She went, She's gone. She's gone. And that nurse, we've been familiar. Them nurses were gracious and kind. She loved God. She said, Brother Donnie, you ought to jump up and shout around this room. Because there ain't no screaming and tormenting. Because of hell in this room. She said, I stood over men. That scream. Father, get me out of this place. My feet's on fire. I'm burning. She said, I have not nerves right now. Because she stood over bed and lost me. Oh, Vautel, that atheist, the nurse stood over him. And he screamed in torments because he died without God. And he went to hell. You know now they pump you full of drugs. Most of the time you don't even know you're in your right mind. But I'm hell to tell you, you better get her nailed down this morning. Because hell's in large sense. Say amen right there. Where is it beneath? Who's going there? The pleasure, the proud, the good, and the ugly. We're all going there. But notice lastly, and I'll be done. And God, not only is He the Lord of hosts, but notice the last part, and God that is holy. Oh, somebody said He's holy. How many times is He holy? Isaiah said the, the angels bowed and said, Holy! 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 He's holy in the Father. He's holy in the Son. He's holy in the Holy Ghost. Hebrews 12, 14, Follow peace and holiness whereby no man shall see God. Honey, He's a holy God. He saved us with a holy salvation. He called us with a holy calling. Amen. 2 Timothy 1 verse 9 who has saved us and called us with a holy calling Amen. not of our works but by His grace. Amen. I got a little holiness in me. I believe every saved born again person ought to have a little Jesus in it. Amen. You ought to have a little Jesus in you. God, 
My mama over to live home. My mama got saved in the homeless church. She told me that Wednesday night. Can I repeat myself this one more time? Got in that little Toyota truck heading home. Mama said, I saved in Hiawatchee Church of God, son. And she named the preacher. I can't remember his name. She said, I had on this flirty dress. And said, he named the preacher that she used to hold the babies while them women get sanctified and full of the Holy Ghost. She had hold while they rolled down the aisle. I seen it all and I ain't making fun of them. That's what they wanted to do. They some saved church of God. But that, yeah, boy. But she said, she named all that. And I said, well, Mama, why'd you tell me that? I know what you're saying. She said, I don't know, son. That's the last words I have of my mama. She left me that testimony. One day I'll see her again. Hallelujah. I'm going to heaven. How about you? And it's a holy call. Because He's a holy God. 1 Peter 1, 16. God said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. He's a holy God. How are you going to get to Jesus? you got to come by His Son. Hell's enlarged itself. How about you this morning? Are you saved? Can I ask you a personal question? We stand together all over the building. As you stand with me, I want you to reflect back in your mind when God saved you. And if you'll finish that verse with me, He said, He's holy, shall be sanctified in righteousness. That word sanctified means set apart. There's just one God. How many believe saved? Amen. Buddha's not God, Buddha's dead. Muhammad's dead, Islam's dead. There's one God. Amen. One God. Paul made it clear, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. There's one God. What mediator between God and man? The man Christ Jesus. One day he got a hold of my hand. Out here. Way out here. Who's going? And where is it? Hell's in large it's safe. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Please, God, take my little feeble effort. God, I sure didn't want to preach this way. I sure didn't want to preach on hell. But God, you showed me my prayer time. You showed me my study. There'll let be a church person. It's going to hell. They're not saved. They're really not saved, Lord. You said there'd be a little boy, a little girl, maybe. Not saved.